All right, so real quick before I get into the actual uh, trick itself, I want to go over something really quick. So um, I've kind of addressed this issue in the past about my Fortnite live streams. It's either been like really polarized um, or some of you either love it or hate it. So what I figured I'd do is a, uh, a really huge deck giveaway. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to be giving away a signed deck of cards to uh, one of my brand new Twitch subscribers or Twitch followers or whatever. So go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the screen. That way you guys can watch the Fortnite live streams over there. And then people on this channel, won't really, uh, they won't really get bothered by it. So make sure to check out my Twitch and you guys, uh, well, I'll pick, you know what, I might, I'll pick two. I'll pick two lucky winners from my Twitch, uh, my Twitch stream or my Twitch account or whatever, uh, one of my subscribers, and I will send a uh, signed deck to two of you guys. So make sure you go ahead, click the link, and follow me over there if you guys want to see that. So anyways, guys, here's the actual trick. All right, so the other day um, I was on my computer and I was just kind of, you know, just on YouTube like usual and I had seen this video suggestion pop up on America's Got Talent or whatever it's called and I saw this card trick and for the most part, I see this a lot of times so I might do a series where I go over um, card tricks done on America's Got Talent because a lot of times, guys, these aren't original card tricks or these aren't card tricks that are like super, super difficult. So today I'm going to be showing you one that I thought was super Super easy, actually. So here's what uh, this one looks like. The name of it, is, I believe, it's called "Swapped with a Kiss," uh, something like that. It's a, it's an older trick, but essentially this is what it looks like. So uh, I'm, you guys can click the link and watch the performance itself. I don't really want to do it on here, but essentially here's how you guys can do the trick. So if you want to do this at your house, whatever, here's how it's gonna work. So you go ahead and you're going to need two or just duplicate cards like this, and it's basically like a signed here then there card trick. So you take your cards, you go ahead, you put your signature on one of them, okay? So this is going to be whatever card you want. Just go ahead and put your own signature because you're going you're going to have to uh, duplicate it as well. So you have to redo your signature again. So make sure you write it in a way that you're going to remember. And then the second part you do uh, is you put just a random card in the middle. So I prefer maybe a red card so it kind of contrasts to what's going on here. So you're going to take the first duplicate without the signature, put that on top, and you put your, this is going to be the spectator's card. Put this on top and then you put the signed card directly on top of that so this is going to be your setup for now now there's a couple of ways of doing this trick um, but in the performance i'm just going to be showing you the way he does the trick there's a way where you end up having the card flipped face up um, you can have the spectator pick any card they want face up which actually does make the trick a little bit better so i might teach both ways but for now i'm gonna teach the way he did it on america's got talent so you take the cards and here's how you start it off you go ahead you tell your spectator all right, so I have this deck of cards, and all you're going to do from here, guys, is a simple double lift. You flip over two cards, all right, and it's going to be whatever whatever card you're forcing on the spectator. You say, okay, so go ahead and sign this card. The spectator's going to go ahead, and they're going to sign whatever they want on their card. This really is their signature, all right? So that's going to be the spectator's name, whatever it happens to be. You go ahead, and you shuffle, or not shuffle, you put this pen away, and then what you want to do is go ahead and flip the double over, Give them what you or what they believe is to be their card, but this actually is going to be your card that you've already signed from the beginning. And what you do, or before you give it to them, you can tell them, all right, so we're going to fold this up, and you want to make sure you start the fold downwards because you don't want them to see what's going on here. So you go ahead and you fold up the card like this, all right? They're going to be holding onto this in their mouth, just like the trick. They're holding this in their teeth. This is going to be your card from the beginning. And now at this point, pretend they're holding this in their mouth. All you guys have to do is do another double lift. So it's really, really simple. You come over to the deck, you do your double lift, whatever. You go ahead. Now, this is the fresh card. All right, this has, this is your duplicate card with no signature. Their card with the signature is directly underneath that. So you go ahead, you take your card, and then what you want to do is duplicate that same signature that you did from before. And obviously, since it's your own, you can easily duplicate it. So it's not really that much of a problem. You go ahead, you uh, put your cap back on. You flip your double lift over, and from here you pick up the card. They think it's the card you just signed, but in reality, there's the card you just signed. You go ahead and you fold this card up as well. Super, super simple. And make sure they don't peek the edges right here. This is just a sloppy folding, but make sure it's kind of lined up so they don't see that. You put this in their mouth, and then you can do literally whatever dramatic effect you want to do. You put this in their mouth, you hold their hands, whatever, you look them in the eyes. You guys can get an idea from the, uh, the performance. But at the end, you open the card up, you ask them if they felt anything at all, and just like that, guys, you have the actual trick. It looks really, really good. 
it looks like the spectator's card traveled to your mouth and it looks like your card ended up traveling to there. So this is the actual trick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a separate version of the trick that's going to make it a lot better. So if you guys want to stick around, you guys can do that. If not, make sure to follow me on Twitch if you are interested in the deck giveaway. So now you guys can X out the video. But if you want to see a better way of doing it, this is what the better way is going to be. So let's go ahead. We're just going to redo this really quickly. I just want to get you guys a better idea of a better performance. So, all right. So here's how the second version is going to work. If any of you guys want to see a lot better way of actually doing the trick. So um, the setup is going to be pretty much the same. You still have your whole duplicate cards going on. I'm not going to ruin any more for the uh, tutorial. But let's imagine that this card is not signed. So look at how clean this card is. There's no bends. This is a fresh card. Pretend it has no signatures on it. This card, however, is going to have the duplicate signature, and that's going to go on top. So, signature card goes on top. Card without one still duplicate goes on the bottom. But you want to flip this card over so your first signature card is just like this. And you come over to the spectator with the deck face up. You start to go ahead and pick any card you want face up. So this way you know, you're like, I'm obviously not cheating you. They go through. They can pick whatever card they want to, and that's why it's a lot better. You can show them the card front and back, and all you have to do, guys, is flip this over just like this. You're going to flip it face down. You're going to put it on the bottom of the deck. Flip the deck face up like this, and now you're in position for double lift. So your spectator goes ahead. They they sign the card, whatever they want, all right? It's whatever they want to sign it as. They go ahead, put your pen back together, and then what you're going to do is a double lift. It's going to be hard to do double lift, though, with me just because I've already folded up this card, but essentially you do your double lift here. Flip the cards over. Sorry, go and hold this. And now this is going to be the card that you've already signed, just like that. They're holding this in their mouth. You come over to the deck, and then you want to do a double lift. And pretend this card does not have a signature on it. And you're just going to go ahead and write your signature now. You flip the double back over. Fold the card up. And now this is going to be the same exact trick. But it works a little better because... You can actually have the spectator pick whatever card they want. And then you go ahead, you do a little thing, you put this in your mouth, pull it back out, show your spectator their card has come over to you, and then vice versa, your card went to them. So this is the trick, guys. Uh, I hope you guys like it. As always, thanks for watching. Check me out on Twitch if you guys are interested. And uh, that is it for the video. She's a literal vampire, belly goblin, goblin, bound, chasing after your mama. Let's go and give it to you.